Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Stacy Scott, and I'm here with Graham Wickham, President and CEO of Wickham Financial and Insurance Services, and we're here with our weekly wrap-up. Graham, what can you tell us about the market for last week? Well, we had a pretty strong market last week, Stacey. I mean, uh, we saw 72% of the S&P companies trading uh, above their 52-week uh, average, which is yeah, it's quite strong, right? I mean, we've had a really big rally from the June swoon when we saw the really the lows in the market, at least put in in that particular point. Uh, so we've had a, a pretty good pretty good bounce. You know, we saw the NASDAQ, the Russell up about a couple percent. Uh, but on the up, opposite side of the trade, we actually saw crude oil down 10 percent, uh, maybe some OPEC, you know, uh, having a modest increase in production. I mean, we saw some demand uh, and U.S. supplies maybe unexpectedly increase and decrease slightly for demand. Uh, so that really helped cause oil coming down, which is that might be really good for inflation, at least if you're you're going out to the pump. I think the really the news of last week was really just really, really, really high or just sustained high unemployment, uh, excuse me, employment. We, all, we only had the unemployment rate come in at about 3.5 percent that actually dipped down, which is actually I mean, that's a huge positive. Right. If you want a job, there's jobs available for you. If you don't have a job, maybe you're not looking. Uh, but actually, from an inflation standpoint, uh, that might be a challenge that the Federal Reserve is going to have to address, uh, possibly being more hawkish or tightening more uh, going forward. So we'll just have to see how that shakes out. Uh, internationally, don't want to forget about it. You know, we were seeing stubbornly high uh, inflation internationally. We saw some rates rising internationally, kind of stave off. Uh, I think it was even uh, uh, the Bank of England making some statements that uh, don't be surprised if you see the Eurozone or um, uh, England at or Britain at that particular point, maybe go into a little bit more protracted recession because of, you know, the war, whatnot going on in Europe. Okay. Well, I mean, Graham, it sounds like the markets have uh, rallied from the June lows. So is, do you think that's sustainable? You know, I'd like to believe so. Yeah, I think you have to expect, you know, maybe some give back, right? Uh, I think the Nasdaq's off about 20% uh, from those June lows. Remember, that was that highest growth, highest speculation. That was the stuff that got hit the most, makes up a lot of that index. Uh, so I wouldn't, I'm not surprised to see that index bounce up so much. But I think it has, we have to be um, it's reasonable, let's put it that way, to expect the mar market to maybe give up some of that. You know, if it's up 20, maybe we give up 5, 10%. I don't know. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Doesn't mean that we can't use this as a base to grind around here to make maybe more long term gains. I think that's all going to depend when we get into looking at CPI numbers. And is inflation topping and starting to roll over? We'll just have to see. And I think that will help set the next stage of the market rally or drop. OK, well, let me ask you this. These um, higher prices for goods and uh, food and services that we've been experiencing, is that something that you see continuing throughout the end of the year? I do. I think that's stubbornly high. I think it's going to be hard to get that down, just like wages, as I've always said, you know, in all of our calls and talking to our clients, there's certain parts of uh, the inflation, um, you know, area that is just going to be tough. It's sticky, right? It just doesn't come down that super easy. And I think that's going to be wages. I think that could be um, some food prices, not necessarily commodity or all commodity prices. We've really seen a lot of them roll over. That's why we do feel that we're probably topping inflation. Doesn't mean it's going to come down dramatically overnight or anything. That's not what we're saying, but start to roll over. And hopefully we'll see some of this uh, show up in the economic report coming soon. Fingers crossed. Fingers okay. Crossed. Thanks so much, Graham. And thank you to you for joining us today for our weekly wrap up. And we will look forward to seeing you again next Monday when we have our next one. Until then, have a great week and a good weekend. And we'll see you soon. Thanks so Take much. Care.